Hello everybody, it's Chibi, and today I'm here to bring you an anime review on Okami Shoujo. Now before I start this review, the reason why I'm in my chair is because, as always, I'm just too lazy. Just finished my Boku no Hero Academia review, did not feel like setting up my stuff, so I'm just gonna finish off the rest of the reviews today in my chair. So anyways, let's dive in deep with this episode of Okami Shoujo. Wow, that ending is kawaii. That, that, that's one thing I want to say right now. That ending is cute, kawaii, and to see how much growth Kyoya has gotten since the very beginning, since the first episode of the series to this episode, is kind of stunning when you see it. I mean, Kamiya was just used as a character in this episode just to show us how much Kyoya has actually grown. And you can clearly see how much she's actually starting to care for Eric. I mean, when they were having their little spat back and forth when they were making fun of each other, for instance, when Kyoyo was making fun of Erica at the end of this episode, it was kind of like they're flirting. And at the exact same time, it just shows you how much he has changed as a person, especially using Erica as a pillow, pretty much. So, I, I felt like this episode, it did a damn good job of demonstrating how much development Kyoya has gotten since the first episode, and I think that was one of the main reasons why Kamiya was actually introduced. As I said in my last review, Kamiya was a character, an asshole that was introduced just to show us how much of a likable asshole Kyoya was. And after seeing this episode, you clearly see the massive differences, and with the overall correlation with the end of this episode of how... Kamiya is actually kind of Kyoya before he changed from episode 1. It's kind of shocking when you think about it in those terms of events. But still, Kamiya, I still don't like his attitude and his personality. As I said last week, I don't like how he treated the girls. I don't exactly like and agree with what he was doing, especially having over 500 girls in his phone and he could call them at any time and be waited on. I was like, that's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. And I, I really was fucking happy when I saw that girl turn him down and technically dump him in the middle of the night when he was sitting around and you saw the girl come up. I think her name was Yuki. You see how she dumps him. Like, oh, I got a boyfriend now and all that, and she technically kind of went against instinct, human instinct, as he was trying to imply to Kyoya this entire episode. For instance, he tried to make Kyoya follow his human instincts, his male instincts of trying to kiss that girl in this episode, but he fought against it and he walked away. Well, he thought he was going to actually have the exact same results, technically, you know, he was going to do the exact same thing he's done with all the girls in this episode, but that girl turns him down right when he's about to kiss her, so... Right there, it was like a double shots fired at him as a person. Because first, Kyoya, just like, nope, I can't kiss this girl. And then the second part, this girl just dumps him. And he's like, what? I thought it was irresistible. That's pretty much what he was thinking. So to see this development, I really, really enjoyed that aspect. Overall, a very, very good episode of Okami Shoujo. I mean, I have no complaints about it. I mean, animation was good besides off-distance shots. That's the only complaint I have with the animation. There was some shots in the background when you saw characters off. Their faces looked a little bit out of proportion. But besides that, I mean, it was a very good episode. I mean, Kamiya's actually seems like he's changing as a character, which I still don't agree with. I don't like him as a character. I I'm being honest. I don't like how he treats girls. But overall, yeah, decent episode. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, did you enjoy this week's episode of Okami Shoujo? Did you hate this episode? How do you feel about Kamiya? Do, how do you feel about Kyoya's development? How do you feel about the connections between Kyoya and Erika now in this episode? Do you like that romance progression we had? How do you feel about Kamiya? Do you think he deserves redemption? Do you feel like he deserves development to where he can possibly get a girlfriend? Let me know. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.